Hello everyone, David from goldstartool.com and uh, uh, our technician has been working on a uh, console DCS-S4. It's a uh, skiving machine made by console, but even if you have the new Tech 801, it's the same thing, the same body, the same thing. I'm just gonna go over a couple of, of these buttons and dials right here so you know what is it for, because we made one before on how to assemble it. But we get, from time to time, we get some phone calls that people want to know how things work around here. Okay, so uh, we have taken the cover off of here, all right? And I have taken the cover off of here too, all right? This goes here, I take it off. And this is the cover that I've taken off from here. Just to show you how these things work. Usually everything is on, all right? Number one, the motor is a Skywing, is a servo now. There is a switch in the back. If you could go show the switch in the back. It's a direction switch. You see that? It should be an on and off switch. You see that? That shows here. You see that? Mm -hmm. If, now come back here. When you are using the Skyver, the stone here should go this way. And this should go this way, clockwise, and from from front to the back, this one. And this one is clockwise. If for some reason it's the other way, you just change that switch to the back. And it happens many times that come, customer call and say, hey, my motor is going backwards, okay? So that one you switch done. This is the pressure for the foot. You get a bunch of foot here. This is, I mean, two of them. This is one of them. If you need more pressure, you just tight. Or if you're doing something soft like what I'm gonna be doing now, you need this to be tighter. So this one you press, press down. You guys know this part. What is this for? This is a sharpening mechanism right here. And let me turn on the light and it works on that one. You see the blue one in the back? Now, right this one. Now, when I, it's right here, it's neutral, nothing is happening. You put it here, down. So up, you just put it down. Now take a look. It turns, and you hear that noise? It sharpens the outer side of the knife. This one sharpens out outer side, okay? And the way, if you want it closer, if you want more sharpened, which I don't suggest, it's gonna be barely touching. You don't want this to eat up the whole knife from here. Clockwise, more sharpened. Counterclockwise, less sharpened. It has, it, we don't want the sharpener to eat a lot of the blades, right? So, to sharpen this down, this will work, and it will sharpen here. Adjustment this one. Now, if I stop this, pull it up, that one will stop right there. Down, sharpen, up, neutral. This one, you do not touch. My technician said this is for the wheels inside. You don't want to touch this one. You don't do anything with it. Okay, we're gonna come to this one right here. Now we're gonna come right here. Use the dirt on the table, we've just been working on it. All right, make sure you gotta get one of these new tech LED lamps whenever you buy a sewing machine, because this is very important. You don't have this one, you don't see anything inside. All right, so now, we are going to see what is this. This is now in neutral, this thing. It comes up, goes back here, All right? Oops, did it. Let me get it back up. You see, goes inside. There is a slit right here. This one stays here. Spring loaded. Bring this back here. And this will sharpen inside of the knife. Right? When you put this in here, it pulls it back. It will sharpen inside the knife. I'm going to do it for you. This is sharpening inside. And the way it is, the way you want it. You don't want it to be eating, again, a lot of the... All right. You see? 
inside. Whenever you're done, whenever you're done, you take this and you put it back up, you're done. The way you adjust this for less or more pressure inside is from here. Clockwise, more pressure, counterclockwise, less pressure. Again, you don't want to have it a lot of, uh, you don't want it to be so close to the knife. You don't want it to eat up a lot of knife. So when you put it back here, start sharpening. And see if I could go more. Sharpen inside. When you're done, you just put it back up here in neutral. Now, and this one goes like this. Now, then you could go like this. The way, the way you want it back here, when you want it back here, is for using this, right? Now, see, I just did some of this, and I'm not a leather man. I don't know how things, you know, I just sell sewing machines. So, you could push this up here the way you want it, close, like this, right? I'm gonna open this open up already. I'm gonna put this uh, down. I'm sorry, this is all the leather that I have. And I'm gonna start, I'm doing it slowly from left to right. I pull, it doesn't go by itself, you have to pull, you see? I'm doing it slowly so you see the, all the, and then look at the back. You see, I skived it, 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 it shaved it. If I wanted a little more, pull this up, I give it a little more turn, come back down here, close this again, and pull again. I told you I'm not very good, so that's how it is, right? And you see it shaved everything here. You gotta make sure, put air in there. Get a can of, uh, everything will fall here, like it fell on my shoes right here. But you could, there is, a, there is an opening right here, if you could see my hand, that all the lint, all the cut pieces will come out. You could probably put a, put something here, a bucket or something, and then, uh, make sure you clean inside. A lady called me yesterday, he had a lot of dirt inside. So again, if this is by hand, you could adjust. If you see something you need more closer to do, you just go back up. This is for sharpening, goes back here to sharpen this one inside, this one to sharpen this one outside, and uh, this one to adjust the stone back there, this one to adjust the stone in here. Everything is good, you don't need to do anything in here. Everything is set up, I just kept it open just to show you guys. Again, this is console DCS-S4 on a um, T-leg with wheels on a servo motor with LED lamp. And it's gonna be the same, same as new tech. If you guys are watching this one, and you watch and you have a new tech 801 it's the same machine the same system the same setup the same put up everything the same uh, anything else that, off to clean it. okay he said my technician said that whenever you need to clean this up it's totally okay two screws back yes. here two screws in here just pick this up clean up also this one the same thing yes. we have a very good technician yeah. screw screw clean up and blow air in there, blow air in there, clean it up, make it nice, your tool. This makes you money. Every sewing machine, every cutting machine, every tool that you have, you got, at the end of the day, you have to clean it up. You clean it up, it, first of all, it's very safe, and number two, it's gonna last longer for you. And it's an equipment that makes you money. Thank you for watching. This is David from Gold Star Tool, and thank you, Octavio, my technician, for thank teaching, you. Thank you. Uh, teaching me all this stuff. All right. Have a good day and a wonderful day and a golden day. Golden right, day. Golden. Thank you. Thank Bye. You.